one of our burgers totally disintegrated, but the other one seems to be doing okay. I'm doing a burger over the rotisserie, and I'm doing a burger on the flat top, and I'm looking for two things. One is shrinkage. No, I'm not in the pool kind of shrinkage. I was in the pool! I'm looking for shrinkage, and I'm looking for flavor, and I'm gonna show you which one wins. Let's do it. To start this experiment, I think we need to get some flavor. That's why I'm using some Uncle Steve's shake, his cow shake, and I'm just gonna put it over each one. Awesome. Now here's the tricky part to this. I've gotta put a burger on here and make it fit onto this little tine thing without destroying it. I think we'll be okay with that. I'm gonna put these over the open spit. It's my grandson. Turn it on. Let these things just cook away. I think we're okay to put our other burgers on the flat top. Let's just see where it goes from here. One of our burgers totally disintegrated, but the other one seems to be doing okay. The onions are still going. I don't know about them, but there's our other one. Here's the other burgers are kind of just cooking away. No big deal there. I just pulled the burgers off. Ooh, hot. I don't want to take a look at them. I mean, yeah, that's, looks good. Actually, that side looks a lot better. You can see the uncooked one is quite larger still. And this is the one that was on the rotisserie, of course. And here's the one that was cooked over the flat top. So yeah, you know, the rotisserie is a little bigger than the flat top, but of course it's not near as big as the uncooked. So yeah, we're, we get some shrinkage off of that. I was in the pool! I wanna try it. My grandchildren talking away. Um, it's good. I do get some of the smokiness off of that Weber kettle. Let's try our flat topper. I'm gonna be honest with you. Flat top, I really get that Uncle Steve shake. I want to try this one again. It's not as cooked either as the flat top. Mm. No. I'm gonna be honest with you. Flat top is still the way to go. So there you have it. We had our burger that was cooked over the rotisserie. I don't, I don't think it's that great of a burger. Maybe rotisseries aren't the way to go for burgers. We did get more shrinkage out of the one on the flat top compared to that. I was in the pool! But at the end of the day, this one definitely has the flavor. This one seemed to have lost a lot of flavor, my grandkids. So anyhow, that's our experiment. I'm gonna show you guys on the next video how to prevent shrinkage. Talking about shrinkage, when you have a burger on the flat top, let me show you how to prevent as much shrinkage as possible. All right, there you have it. We'll talk to you on the next episode. Late.